What is going on guys, FMU here. Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now today I'm going to show you how to download and install a face pack, something that's been shown many, many times. I just wanted to update it for FM18 as there are some people out there who want to see it actually in the actual game as it is now. Kind of a safety blanket, I think, for some people that it's actually the, prop the actual game that they're downloading it to instead of a previous version, just in case anything looks or feels different to them. So I'm on FM Scout and I'm going to be downloading the DF11 face pack. That's the one that I like. I, I always use FM Scout for most of my downloads. So I just thought I'd record it on there. There are other websites, there are other face packs. So I came to the face pack section, clicked on DF11, and I'm just going to hit the download button. Now with this one, it brings you into this page here and it gives you a couple of options. We're going to do this like a fresh install. Uh, the update packs, you can click on update and follow the instructions to do them that way. Or you can download if you're a first time downloader, we can do this one. Now bear in mind, this is a nine gigabyte file. So it's going to take a long time to download. It's a big file. Uh, you can download them via a torrent extractor or via sync.com. I'm just going to do mine via direct download as you can see you just click it and it comes up at the bottom there starts downloading for me it's going to take 20 minutes to do so once the download is done at the bottom there normally you can just click on it but i closed it down by accident which therefore gives me the opportunity to tell you to you that you will find it in your downloads folder anyway so it's not the end of the world if you do that there it is there df11 me mega pack now you will need a zip extractor so winrar jzip 7zip all of those you can get them for free online so download one of those to use and then it's just a simple case of double clicking on it and it will open it up there's the folder there and then literally going into your documents sports interactive if you've got two it's normally the second one along football manager and then if you haven't got a graphics file you'll need to create one simple just right click new folder then rename it graphics but obviously i don't need to because i've already got one and then i'll break mine down into subfolders so i've got background cities uh faces which is the one we'll use stadiums kits logos just keeps it a little bit more tidier so we're going to faces as you can see i've emptied it so there's nothing in there and then just left click hold it down and drag it across and it will drop it in and there it is there. You see it's dropped into the folder, no problem at all. So now it's ready to go into the game. Okay, so once you're into the game, you've loaded it all up, what you need to do is go to your preferences. And then on the preferences tab, just hover over it and go to interface. Okay, and then first thing you need to do is clear the cache. And then you need to go back into preferences again, and back into interface. Uh, make sure that um, these are ticked here. Reload skin when confirming changes using cache decreases page loading times, blah, blah, blah. And then hit reload skin. And once it's reloaded, as you can see, the face pack is successfully installed and it looks wonderfully beautiful. Let's just have a click on Zlatan. Let's have a quick little look at Zlatan's picture in all its glory there. There it is going to different screens it's there it's there it looks very beautiful very nice happy with that so that's it guys it is so simple to do um if you have any trouble if you do reload the cache and everything and it doesn't load up try closing the game down and reloading up again there shouldn't be any issues with that. if there are any issues i'm not too sure where you may have gone wrong maybe just try the process over again uh, but that's it guys thank you for watching i hope this has helped you out uh, please leave a like if you have if you're new here subscribe hopefully you might learn something else on the channel while you spend your time here as a subscriber i don't know but for now guys i'm out of time thank you very much bye bye, -bye.